guys, Thomas from Team Soccer also here coming at you with a Yu-Gi-Oh! March 2021 ban list prediction video. Now, a lot of you have been anticipating for this. I've been doing research, seeing what Konami is going to do, either to push product, solve the game state and meta and other problems. So that's why this video came a little late. If you guys do enjoy this content though, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form in your buying cards off TCG player, please use my affiliate link down in the description below. It helps out the channel to no additional cost to you and consider being a YouTube channel member. Uh, so I'm just going to get right into it. So the first card I have here for a ban is True King of All Calamities, aka VFD. Now a lot of players actually want to see this card limited because in multiples, it's cancer, it's really hard to deal with, and it's completely busted, and at this point, it's actually consistent enough to make two VFDs in certain decks, kind of like how Virtuals may be able to make two, some other decks can make two as well. But the reason why I want this card banned, even though limiting it is a nerf to the card itself, including Virtual Worlds, is because of this combo. And this is why I don't think VFD is really dealable in this format. Uh, to give you this scenario, let's say Chainlink 1 is my VFD during your standby phase. I call whatever. Chainlink 2 Imperm. Well, I could do Chainlink 3 Choop, which is basically a virtual card that takes my uh, what's called monster off of the field. I get to recycle my banished virtual worlds, and I still get my effect off because your Imperm is going to miss timing. Now, this can go for droplets, all that as well. Uh, so you really have to draw multiple answers to this card because of how chain links work. You can't just have the one interrupt. And that's why I think this card should go to zero along with it's, yes, it's been a problem in virtual world, which had been ruling for about five months, I'd want to say, about five months uh, in the meta. They've had enough time along with virtual world uh, is a little too new to hit, although VFD has existed for years and people have been ex uh, complaining about this card for years. Uh, although Virtual World is probably the deck that it was most prominent in, or one of the most top decks. Not the most, but it's up there. So that's why I think this card should be banned. Now, the, but however, you could expect it to be limited as well. It just depends on what Konami is going to do. I think it should be banned. Now, the second card that I have here is actually Red Eyes Fusion. Now, this is a 50-50 because in the OCG, uh, you know, Dragoon made a huge impact. It was in every deck, it ruled the format. TCG, while it's had a huge impact, ugh, not as much. So I think that uh, to in order to deal with this card, they're going to hit Red Eyes Fusion because Verda Anaconda, the R whole engine, makes this card or makes this engine basically very viable where you can put Dragoon and decks like Subterra Guru are topping when they really should be. I'm not trying to diss the player who topped it here, but we have decks in the top 32 that are only there because of Dragoon. Uh, so that's why I think it's very unhealthy and that's why it needs to be stopped. I think that Konami is not going to hit Dragoon. I think they're going to hit Red Eyes Fusion because the deck is still, or not the deck is still playable, but Dragoon's still playable in certain decks, right? Although less meta. It's a lot harder to gal and it's going to take a lot more work rather than just linking off into Veritera and just having fun. So that's why I think that Red Eyes Fusion may go, although they may let Dragoon sit here for a little while longer. It just depends on what Konami wants to do. So that's all I have for banned here. Now for limited, uh, and by the way, this is all just opinion, so if you disagree or agree, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, again, I'm trying to predict what Konami does with a little bit of what I want. Now for limited, Firewall Dragon. Why? Uh, it's getting an errata. It's already got it in the OCG, I believe. And we're getting it in Ghosts of the Past with said errata. So Konami is most likely going to put this back to one, and then Cybers are going to have it, no other deck will. So... Uh, I'm probably a 99% chance it's going to come back to one. Uh, then we have Electromite. Now, Electromite might come back for two reasons. Now, the first one is in Blazing Vortex, which I made this prediction in my last ban list prediction video. In order to sell Blazing Vortex, they're going to put this card to one. Now, they did. However, they've been known to do this afterwards as well in order to sell more product. And I think if Electromite goes to one, uh, it'll help sell Blazing Vortex. Because if you guys don't know, there was a lot of heavy Malfoys support. There was not just one or two cards like how they gave Constellar one card and they said, oh, there's Constellar support in Blazing Vortex. No, there is a Constellar, a Constellar card in Blazing Vortex. But there's multiple Heavy Malfoy's cards uh, for support in Blazing Vortex. And in order to sell that set a little bit better, you would think Electromite is going to come back to one. And that's why I think it's, it will be. Along with in Ancient Guardians, which is our next deck building set, we are getting another Pendulum-based strategy. So I believe in order to push not only the product that just came out and what you just uh, gave support for, but also the next deck building set. So, f so for the future and the past when it comes to, s to sets, this card would come back. That's why, why I think Konami is going to do. So make sure you have your Electromite. 
Uh, now, the third card I have here is Cursed Eldland. Now, the reason why I have this is Eldritch has had its whole year. This is around the time where we see decks like that that have been tier 1 for a long time start getting hit. Now, the OCG has hit this to 2, I believe. So, I think that the TCG likes to fall suit with uh, the OCG. Now, it's good not only going first, but it's also good going second, and it's not searchable. This card could search stuff like Sanguine and the other cards that some people are saying hit, and it hurts the deck a lot more when you hit the non-searchable cards rather than the searchable cards. So that's why I think Ellen is probably going to get limited, possibly go to uh, 2, but Konami really doesn't mess with the semi element list, unlike the OCG. So that's why I don't really like saying going to 2. It's probably going to go to 1. Now, uh, for the next card I have here is Cyber Angel Ben 10 for limited. Now, I hate this card. I think it's absolutely ridiculous and busted. Uh, now, for Drydens, once they get, if they don't get this card hit and their next support comes out, we're going to be in a near tier 0 format. Now, I, it may be tier 0, but I think it's going to be near, where it's getting 50% of the top 32s in extravagances and remote duels, etc, etc. This is already a tier 1 deck and people already think this is the most, uh, this is the best deck of the format, right? Some people say Virtual World, some people say Dryden, right? Uh, it's really a 50-50, but it's up there. However, once Dryden gets a new support, it's easily going to top both stuff like Eldritch uh, and uh, Virtual World. So the reason why I think this card is going to get hit is because Dryden are too new to get hit. And, but Ben 10 has existed for a long time, along with this has been a problem card uh, in all the other decks as well. Uh, not really too heavily, but yeah, also if you guys hear background noise, I apologize about that, but hopefully the music's covering it. So, hopefully Cyber Angel Ben 10 will go to 1. Uh, next card I have here is Fossil Dig, uh, basically give it the road treatment, put it to 1. Uh, it also searches level 5 and 6 dinosaurs, so 1 through 6 instead of level 1 through 4. Dinosaurs have been ruling for a while, however, to sell the Mega Tins coming in June, uh, since dinosaurs became meta during uh, post attorney code because of the support they got, uh, they may let it live for a little bit longer uh, just to get the reprints out and then hit this card. They could also hit Misk back to 1, but who really knows? Although I don't think dinosaurs, dinosaurs may go this for our uh, list unscratched, but I don't think they're going to go the next one. Uh, now the last card I have here is Magical Meltdown. Now Invoked have had their place in the meta and multiple formats for about a year and a half now. A lot of people have been playing this engine. Konami's already reprinted Invocation four times. Alistair like three. Uh, they reprint all the ultra rare uh, errors from the extra deck as well as reprints. Even uh, what's called their Link Monster, you know, Invoker of Madness. Uh, so I think that now that everything's reprinted, uh, the engine's been here for about a year and a half, I think Konami's finally going to hit it, and Magical Meltdown's the way to go, because when it comes to cards that you cannot really respond to, aka you can't re uh, respond to the Fusion Summon of Fusion Monsters, while Magical Meltdown's on the field, uh, those cards are quite unhealthy, along with it is a search card, and in the engine it is a three of. Limiting this card means you have to hard draw Alistar, basically. Uh, so instead of basically running six copies, you're running three. That's why I think this card is going to get limited. Now for semi limit list, this is going to go by really quickly. So, uh, I think Call by the Grave is going to go to 2. Now the reason why they hit this card is because they want to sell Rides of the Duelist. Like I called in my last video, talents were about $60 back then. Uh, you know, I had mine then I sold them at 100 because that's just way too much money for not, me not playing in events right now. Uh, it quickly went to $100. Rides of the Duelist for sealed boxes are over $200 right now if you guys did not know. I think they did a fantastic job selling this product already, uh, since it's basically non-existent. Uh, I think that Call by Grave is going to go too, because we live in a very grave uh, yard dependent format where Ghost Spell and Skullmeister are actually being played quite a bit. So I think Call by the Grave could go to uh, it's been all over the ban list. Konami really likes playing with this card and just moving it around everywhere. I think that this card could go to two. Now. The last cards I have here is, well, the second last card here is DeLorean slash Tashula. Very quickly, we just got the Ice Barrier Structure deck. DeLorean has been on this ban list ever since I've actually started playing the game when I was like 13, I believe. Uh, so, I think this card has been on the limited list for way too long. I, putting it at 2 is not going to do anything. Uh, it's going to help Ice Barriers, I guess. I mean, they just got their Structure deck, so why not? Same with Tashula. I think that... While multiple Trishulas can be degenerate, I think that we have to, to see if it is. I think putting this to 2 would be great. Again, these could go to 3, but I think they're going to go 2 because Konami doesn't like having a semi-limited list, but they will never completely eliminate it. I think they have like 
two or three cards on the semi limit list, they might want to bump that up to like four or five. So something's definitely going there, and I think these cards are going to be the safest bet. The last card I have here, and this is just a wish, is Trickstar Light Stage. I mean, they hit this card a one because of Nightmare Mermaid, and that's been banned for like, what, two years at this point? Light Stage can go back to three, and nobody would care. Uh, it really won't. And that's just a wish here, but I think this is a card that I look at it, and it's just redundant on the limited list. Just like Wall of Revealing Light. So with that being said, guys, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, and let me know in the comment section below your own list, what you critiques you think of mine, all that. Let's have a conversation, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.